The Black Clover movie just dropped, and boy oh boy did it look incredible. Black Clover has always been an interesting show, especially because of its behind-the-scenes shenanigans. I have covered this topic before. The Black Clover anime is what you get when you combine a passionate and incredibly talented staff with a production cycle so bad, it's almost impressive. And this movie made me happy. It really did. It wasn't particularly different from the anime in terms of its visuals, except this was actually polished and well put together, for the most part. Let's not waste time, there's a lot to cover here. Make sure to like and subscribe. Pretty much every young webgen animator ever worked on this project, which is so fitting. Also, this movie had some really strong drawings throughout. Strong, on-model drawings in a Black Clover project is practically unheard of. It was refreshing. The movie opens up with a fight scene because of course it does. Not the biggest fan of how inconsistent the rock effects are. We get a decent amount of character acting and look at how strong the drawings are. The close-ups look so good. Character designer Itsuko Takeda was the chief animation director around this part. The strong drawings are largely her corrections. Masaki Endo animated this long, effects-heavy cut. There's quite a bit of digital effects thrown on top of the lightning, I don't think that was necessary. The action here is very energetic. Also, look at how strong the drawings are despite the fast movement. Black Clover fights always relied on speed. This portion of the fight animated by Rio and Mitchell Gonzalez, for example. They use strong wind effects to get the speed across. Also, objects and characters quickly closing in on the camera is a commonly used technique. Rio animated this amazing impact frame sequence. The lens flares near the end made this scene look cinematic, despite the somewhat janky camera work that follows. The opening fight looked great, although I feel like it was a bit too heavy-handed with the digital effects. The 3D background here looks amazing and the 2D background animation is absolutely top-notch. These two cuts made for an incredible establishing sequence. The 3D backgrounds are a hit or miss. These shots look great, while this cut looks overly busy and clunky. More action follows. The camera work here is questionable. The compositing team had to heavily blur most of it, perhaps because the camera movement didn't work well with the 2D drawings. The effects look nice. The camera shake when these guys take their hoods off looks somewhat goofy. The CGI soldier things look alright. They have their wonky moments, but they generally look decent. Their movements were seemingly laid out using 2D animation. This part had a lot of close quarters combat, and it was a mixed bag. The build-up here is great, but the actual release isn't that strong. Also, some of this fight is a bit underwhelming. Michel Gonzalez's effects animation and smears do look amazing. Tail sequence is the highlight here. The movement is so bouncy and alive. Also, the choreography and camera work is well done, although the formation of the CGI pyramid looks a bit off. Also, lovely slow motion shot animated by Mifumi Tomita. The rest of the fight was mostly effects, some of which looked amazing, while some of it looked unremarkable. The fight was well structured and the drawings were very strong, certain Asta scenes being the only exception. The movement was quite well done, certain Asta scenes being the only exception. Is Asta particularly difficult to draw? He was the only one who had a few weak drawings throughout this movie. The lab scenes used plenty of 3D backgrounds, most of which looked great and helped with the sense of scale. Also, incredibly strong close-ups as always. The early action here looked slightly weak, this one cut being the only exception, although the incredible effects here makes up for it. Dorian Kulo's sequence starts off with some incredibly fluid smoke effects. Also, the water and lightning looks amazing. Asta's demon form is synonymous with Kutsuna lightning at this point. Kutsuna lightning is this zigzag style of lightning. Expect a lot of it in this movie. This fight used quite a bit of CGI, especially for the pillars, but you could barely notice, mostly because it was a dark scene with a strong blue accent. The storyboards are really creative here, and the fight goes from characters flying around to close quarters combat and back. Also, I love how Noel's water dragon thing looks. The running here looks wonky, but the rest of the scene looks great. As always, the fight is really effects heavy, and these effects are always moving. Rio's debris and effects animation looked particularly good. The camera work here was solid, although perhaps a tad bit too ambitious, leading to minor inconsistencies. Also, I need to mention this again, the drawings are so strong. The close-ups look amazing. Also, well-drawn back muscles. You love to see it. Although this isn't a strong drawing, is it? It's always Asta. 
This sequence also had some subtle but very well done character acting, especially these cuts animated by Takaya Sunagawa. Back to the action, this scene is a lot of flying nothing but the sequence that follows is really good. It's animated by Masaki Endo and it's just a complete looking scene. The drawings are very consistent. The next few minutes are largely carried by fluid, well drawn effects. The final fights are underway by now and the quality steps up. This sequence is animated by Ryo and it's that classic effects animation. Even when an object isn't moving all that much relative to the camera, the effects get the speed across. Also, love the storyboarding slash layout here. It looks unique. The character acting near the end looks amazing. It has a spontaneous feel to it. Also, more effects. The walk cycle here is really good, but the same thing in the next cut looks goofy. Who walks like that? You can tell the end is near because even the mid-fight dialogue is well animated. Also, lovely smears. I like the timing here, feels slow but heavy. Takeshi Menami's sequence looks phenomenal. The timing is so snappy and well executed. He packs in a lot of energy behind every single movement. Also those signature smears. The impact makes you grit your teeth, it's so good. Also look at the perspective on the fist, so good. The effects here look incredible. I could instantly tell it was Kazunori Ozawa. That explosion was an easy giveaway. This punch and the subsequent hits felt really impactful. Back to this fight, there's a lovely bit of swordplay here. Love the smears and the timing. This was a short cut but it looked so good. The quantity and the quality of effects really increases at this point and the large scale debris looks impressive. Also, dropkick Sakuga never lets you down. Next up, we have Dorian Kulo doing his best Yutaka Nakamura impression. It looked amazing by the way, very well timed. The rest of the fight, animated by Koporime? question mark, looked so insanely good. The background animation, the effects, the energy, it was unreal. Also, this impact frame sequence looked stunning. It was an amazing scene. More lovely effects follow, some of which was animated by Masaki Endo. This bit of character acting looked amazing. The timing is very Kanada-esque and therefore energetic. Also, effects, 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 effects. Black Clover, pen of the effects animator. The 3D background here gave me a Vietnam flashback. Both the characters here get their own magical girl transformation and the final showdown is underway. Although, they decided to wrap up this other fight first. I'm not the biggest fan of this ball of lightning approach, although this cut was short so it's fine. Also lovely impact frames here. Characters flying around while being surrounded by effects, that's just classic Black Clover. There isn't all that much to break down here. The timing was amazing. The drawings here look so incredible, I can look at these all day. Asta transforms again and the amount of Kutsuna lightning doubles. Also this cut is insane. It's animated on ones, aka it has a frame rate of 24. More flying around, this time with debris. Asta literally uses a cross flare as a launch pad, because why not? Also look at this shot, probably the coolest scene in the entire movie. We suddenly transition to a grounded sword fight, because why not? The choreography was great and the subtle movements add a lot to this fight. Also love how you can see Asta's reflection here. Back to the Noel fight, Masaki Ando animated this large scale segment with consistently well drawn effects. The man is 63 years old but that doesn't stop him from being absolutely phenomenal at animating. The liquid, the smoke, it looks so good. Back to the Asta fight. Director, how much lightning do you want? Yes. Also, the sheer impact behind this hit. Animator Shu Sugita holds on to this pose for upwards of 20 frames, followed by 20 plus impact frames with two different color schemes. But that's not all. There's another 6 to 7 frames worth of hold before that cathartic release. Two different angles of it for good measure. It's that season finale animation if that makes any sense. The rest of this fight is just amazing effects with strong drawings. Not much to talk about there. And that just about does it. Of course, I couldn't talk about every Every impressive scene in detail, there are way too many of those, but still I think I covered a fair bit. This movie looked amazing, especially the second half. The team could actually realize their vision which was very nice to see. They put in a ridiculous amount of effort into every single scene. I loved it. That's about it. If you liked this video, check out this other bit of content on screen. Make sure to like and subscribe and until next time.